everyone. Let me know if uh, you can hear things on your end. Anyone can leave a comment um, to let me know that they got sound. That would be great. <laughs> Hope everyone's well today. Can someone just drop a comment and let me know if you can hear me? Can you hear me? No. All right, Jean says sound is good. Okay, still gotta figure out the mic. All right, so um, it might be a little slow today because um, I'm dealing with uh, barely any Wi-Fi. Trying to turn the sound off on my iPad. Anyway, so there's barely any Wi-Fi out here. Um, I'm in my husband's garage in the backyard. It's metal. It's not insulated or anything like that. So um, you, all, you all can hear me, which is great. Okay. So I was asked to um, just refresh some lettering that's on this um, Mustang here, which I'll be making a video about this Mustang. It's very unique. Um, it's really cool. So all of this was hand painted in the 70s, this is like uh, 1978. So it's faded, it's chipping, um, it's seen its uh, better days. So. Right now, I'm just gonna um, refresh the letters and then um, go from there, but figured I might as well um, go live. Why not? If you have questions, let me know. Um, I have my other thing down here that I can see the comments on. So Dave asks, um, I wasn't flooded out. My town kind of becomes an island. Um, so getting out and into town gets difficult, but our house is great, so that's good. No flooding in the basement. Um, and cool. cool. Jean guessed it. Um, well, it's not a Mach 1, but it is an old Mustang. It's a Mustang 2. Uh, I don't really know much about uh, Mustangs to begin with let alone anything in the 70s so it's pretty cool though i'll i'll be making a video of it later hey kurt okay so i'm gonna get started i already did the other side so i'm gonna get going on this one i'm not gonna screen the little letters down here because they're painful enough to get to. I'm going to be using a just a playing card to palette for today. I have my other palette to the left of me with the paint reducer. And I'm just going to be using this. Oh, Jane, you're a Mopar guy? I'm kind of a Chevy chick. I like everything, but I seem to collect Chevys. So, did everyone fare well with the storm, Ida? Lots of places were flooded. Tornadoes dropped down in New Jersey. Seems crazy. Hey, Matt. Oh, Bernie, I wish the roundup was happening. I miss seeing you too. Bernie Ramirez is an awesome automotive artist. 
I have like a small gallery of his in my house right now. Almost every room has a Bernie piece. Hi, David. Thanks for stopping in. This brush has seen better days. It's already losing hair. The color is like a dark blue. Yes, it is dark blue by one shot. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what color was used before. This is just faded now. It's more faded on this side. I don't know if they had it parked facing the sun more than the other side in its lifetime, but this side's definitely worn out more than the other side. There's another great artist. Hi, Darren. The wall is well with you. The mosquitoes are coming out. The downside of working out, kind of outside. Hey, Matt, I did just read that. Um, just a little bit before I came in on here. That's very, very sad. I wish people wouldn't steal things that weren't theirs. This is a feed coming in all right. Like I said, I'm out in the middle building with the highway next to me. It's not the best setup. Is that the Mad Max cop car? Um, it kind of looks like it, but no, it's not. So people that are just tuning in, um, I said earlier, I was asked to just freshen up some of these letters on this old race car. This is hand-painted in 1978. I think the letters held up well enough over the years. Sorry, it's just reading the comments there. How long on the live feed? I don't know. Um, Maybe not too long, not as long as the other night. I'm not doing the white letters live. Uh, 
There's no chips. Yes, there's a lot of chips. Lots of chips in this and in the paint. That's all right. Nice car here like that. This car might get repainted. But they want him freshened up right now, which is good. There's a whole row of sponsors down here. You can kind of see it. Um, this is good rich and you can barely see it anymore. It's all completely gone. So I have to repaint that. Sorry, not having the two camera set up today. My iPad is down there. My good camera. Right now, there's no Wi Fi. Yeah. Anyone going to some car shows this weekend? I'm debating if I want to drive to Jersey and visit the Dead Man's Curve show that he's going on. Can you do a close-up at the end? I sure can. Purple and mustard for supper. Oh, no mustard on purple ever. That's funny. If anyone uh, doesn't know that I'm originally from New Jersey and corporal is quite a big to do there. You don't cook mustard on corporal. That's the D. It is weird going over someone else's lettering. Hey, Corey, one of my Texas friends. I miss you guys. Hope all is well down in Texas. Not here getting chewed up by the mosquitoes. Hope to be in Texas next year, at least, if they allow us to uh, go places without everything getting canceled.
Uh, Matt asks, have you ever had to go over someone else's script and found it somewhat different, difficult, because you're left-handed and whoever did it? Um, script in general is just difficult for me at this point. Um, so going over someone else's script, of course, is awkward. Gotten a little bit better at uh, the speed of my script, but. Everything's a downstroke pretty much. Going down and up being up again is difficult. Hello. Hope everything is good in France right now. Uh, comment there. So on this, I am using one shot with hardener and some one shot reducer. It's not that bad here, like texture wise, it's not humid. I think I get us out. And now it's nice and cool here. Hey, Lewis. He's my wall dog buddy. Another thing I miss doing is the wall dog events. Hopefully next year I'm going back to normal. We can paint together again. I hope your power came back on. Hey, Rudy. I met Rudy when I was over in Finland. He's doing really good with pinstriping. So, friend Kirk asked me if I can do a gold leaf live video, which hopefully I get some time over the weekend to do. Other than that, my schedule's kind of super busy. But if I did, um, if I did a gold leaf video, it'd probably be on real leaf because I have some projects that I need real leaf for, so I can always set them up and just do a feed off of that. Mark asked if it's a number three quill. No, I don't buy threes. Um, this is a two. Yeah, that's a two. It's definitely not a four. I buy um twos, four, six, eight. I go up in sizes like that. Did my Saint Bernard ever wag its tail into the paint? People don't know I have a huge Saint Bernard named Mason, and uh, no, his tail's never got into the paint. Hey, Bernie, one of my good customers right there. He's a hoot. Hope you guys fared well with the storm yesterday. You know, there was a tornado near you guys a while ago. Scooch him. This section is really eaten up. I 
else is everyone else up to today? I'm painting. Who else is working? What are you working on? Any cool projects out there? Lights out to move every time. How is my rotisserie project going? It's going slow. I need to get some metal um, for the wheels that we want to attach. Is that one of six original Monroe Handler Mustangs? It is. I can't believe someone other than the owner knew about this car. Shoveling out your shop tonight. What is in your shop that needs shoveling? You tell us, Matt. Fixing some mistakes on a couple of my toilets earlier today. Oh, that's always a pain trying to fix mistakes. That's what us painters do. Hey, Gary. Hope everything is well over there. How much rain did you guys get? Gary doesn't live too far away from me. Jay asked if I'm going to try to stick to a schedule for live feeds. Probably not. Unfortunately, my schedule is every which way these days. Um, a lot of on-the-road jobs and all that stuff. So I never know if I'm going to be at home on certain, you know, Wednesdays or, you know, so forth. So that's pretty hard for me to do. If I wasn't on the road a lot, then I would, you know, know my schedule better. Hey, Brian. Whoop. Who's in here? After I'm finished with this H here, I'm going to clean my brush out. This is on the other side of the car. So I can probably take you guys a quick garage tour here. because I'm going to be using a bigger brush for the Monroe part of this lettering.
take one. Alicia Jennings is a superhero of mine. I love her work. I love her personality. Um, I totally, I don't fangirl over uh, celebrities or anything like that, but I saw Alicia Jennings in person at the World Dogs meet, and I, like, had a meltdown. It was embarrassing and cute at the same time. She's awesome. And it's cool that she's left-handed. Big old pink chip there. Ran my knuckle into that. The guy did that slide already. Okay. Everyone went ready for a garage tour? Okay. I'm just gonna be using my cell phone here, leaving my um iPad down there. Sorry about that. Okay, so this side of the garage, we have the lift, the roadster, a whole bunch of uh, parts and all that stuff. This is crispy. That's the motorcycle that um, was in a fire. Uh, another project I have to do is that tailgate. That's later today. Got a runners here. Hi. Sorry about that. So that's my Nova. Isn't that awesome? So it's on a rotisserie right now. Uh, we want to attach wheels to the bottom of it and open up this door for like bring in more reception. Old helmet that I pinstriped for a man. This slave was my great grandfather's, which is really cool. Um, there's one of the triumphs. My husband is the collector of triumphs. Um, early gen work. There's like a piston there. There's like a navy piece there. Old vintage lettered sign. Right there. I can't go far into the garage because it'll drop. Old aluminum Triumph tank, which is awesome. Um, okay, what else is here to show you guys? Oh, here's a cooler that I did for Jeremiah to match his truck, which is there. That was pinstriped in the 80s before I was born by a sign painter locally. And then, of course, he took his helmet, the fancy helmet that I painted. He's going riding, I guess. So, And there is also hardware sign, which is all 23, 24 karat gold. It has a double drop and a split shade to it, which is really cool. But, yeah. So, on to the rest of the lettering. Quick. Run around the garage there. Okay. Get closer to the Monroe part. All right. So I'm going to be using a French Masters for the rest of the work here, which you guys know what French Masters are. You know that the size disappears, the label disappears, everything disappears for them. So it is just pretty sure this is a, an eight. It might be a six. Uh, 
Okay. Everyone's still there? Using a clay color for my palette. Palletting and killing mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, Matt, it's a lot missing. Um, down here is like even worse. Um, it's pretty faded. It chipped off, actually. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Run through this. If anyone has any questions, throw them at me. Good at painting and talking at the same time. Steve asked, is this an old 70s drag car? Um, it is a 1978 Mustang um, 2. And I don't know if it was a drag car, but from what I understand is that uh, they made six of these to be given away um, for winners of a certain show circuit in 78. But it had um, the whole handling uh, set up and a whole bunch of parts. And it has a crazy um, special effects like body modification panels on it. Hey, Jim. Multitasking with skills you do, Jen. Yeah. I am a multitasker. So if anyone is interested, um, this car actually was just featured um, on a YouTube video with CJ Pony Parts. It has the history of the car there. It's pretty neat. Being one of six. Is there any certain type of work you decline? Uh, racist work? <laughs> I decline anything like that. If certain jobs are, you know, above my skill level, I decline them. I don't do airbrush work, obviously, so I decline those. Lots of people message me about painting their motorcycles or cars, and when we get to conversating, like, they want full, like, on-body spray. I decline that because I don't do it. I know what I want to do and don't want to do these days. Hey, Jim. I miss all those guys. Talk a little bit about prep of the old letters. So these are really old and when one shot or old enamel paint is really going to get really chalky. So I did wipe the surface with a wax and grease remover and came after it really quick with another rag so it doesn't, you know, soak in too much. And then uh, then just prepped it like normal and then just taped the top and bottom lines because that's how they were done then and just start painting. Now this car might get repainted and the owner knows, you know, he, he might repaint this car. So, you know, yeah, the paint is chipping in certain areas. 
and if there's a chip started like under where I'm going like here it might chip even after I paint it some more but it'll look better than what it was right now and then I also made a pattern before I started painting so if he was to repaint the whole car then I have everything um where it needs to go I took measurements all that do you ever use a pounce wheel or mostly transfer paper? I call the pounce wheel the devil. <laughs> so I don't really use the pounce wheel. I have an electro pounce machine, which I love. But if I'm on site and I need to make a pattern that I'm going to be using multiple times over, then yeah, I'll use the, the devil. I hate that thing. But like I was just at in New Jersey. Um, doing race car and it was just I was just doing numbers and I just used transfer after I made that pattern because it's just two numbers very simple and then the third the third number I had to do was smaller than the first two so I used transfer paper for all that I don't know how anyone uses that pounce wheel all the time. They like abusing themselves, I guess. And if you can see, this tape line gets a little above and below there, a little wonky. That's because the O. Oh, needs that space. And I'm just getting about to land right in my head. Yeah, Matt's one of those people that likes to abuse himself. Mm, there we go. We have skewed him right in my pinky. This is what Matt had to say. The fact that you love our electric pounds is shocking. Um, I can tell you that I used to be so afraid of electric pounds. I'm not a big fan of electricity. Um, even with cars, I was petrified of it. And once I started using the electric pounds machine, there was like no holding back. Your ability to talk. Thank you. There's certain things that I know that I just don't want to talk while I'm doing. This is a, you know, this is already laid out for me. That Harley Fender I did the other day on the live feed, which was all lettering, you know, that was fine because it was all laid out. But like the other parts that I had to do for that, I told the owner, I was like, there was no way I was going to be able to do a live feed on them. I had to paint a pinup where, like, the size of her face was, like, smaller than a quarter. And that needed my undivided attention, for sure. Everyone's still probably at work, but she sleeps at night.
both going for a ride right now. Sorry, no music today. Playing in the background. I'll have questions before I scooch on down and maybe turn off the feed. All right, well, I'm gonna go get a drink, throw on some bug spray, and then turn off the feed. So, um, yeah, I'm making another video for this as I'm scratching the mosquito bite. Um, I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube, so check that out, subscribe on my YouTube. I'll be posting more content on there, and then, uh, yeah, so everyone have a good night. I don't know how to end this.